All right, here's a good question where you were asked to factor this expression. So we're not solving the equation, we just want to factor it. In other words, we want to make it equal to something times something. Now, typically with polynomials, I'm going to probably have a couple of brackets, so something in brackets times something in brackets. Now, this one, um, I've done this one before, so I, I know it is a, a sum of two things that are cubed. And so here is an equation or a formula, and I can follow that pattern in order to factor it. But what I need to know is what A is and what B is. So what I like to do is change the C to the 6 to something cubed. Right, so I, I match that cube there. Then whatever's in here is going to be my A. And then same thing here, I'll have something cubed. Whatever in there is going to be my B. Then I can follow this pattern over here. Okay, so I know it's going to be C to the something. So I have to have something times 3 that gives me 6. So this is going to be a 2. So my A, wherever I see an A, and I can write this here, Anytime I see an A, I'm going to replace that with a C squared. Okay, now 27, you might have to do a bit of figuring on that one. So something cubed gives you 27. Uh, let's try a couple. Uh, like 2 cubed would be 2 times 2 times 2, which is not 27. Uh, how about 3? So 3 cubed would be 3 times 3 times 3. Uh, 3 times 3 is 9 times another 3. Yeah, that's 27. That's it right there. So it has, this number in here has to be 3. So wherever I see a B, I'm going to replace that with a 3. Okay, let's re just rewrite our formula here for a second. So A cubed plus B cubed equals A plus B, A squared minus AB plus B squared. So all of those letters and I'm focused over here, all of those letters, I have to plug something in for it. So A is C squared, plus B is 3, and then A squared, so it's, oh, that's a little confusing. So it's like C squared squared, okay, minus A times B, so C squared times B, or 3, would be 3C squared, plus b squared, so 3 squared would be 9. Then the only thing I'd, uh, last thing i do, i just simplify that. So it'd be c squared plus 3 times c to the 4th minus 3c squared plus 9. So that would be my, uh, this here, sorry, this here would be my complete factorization of that. Okay, so it's just sort of following a pattern, and you got to make sure you can identify that that's 3 cubed, and this is c squared cubed. Hopefully that helps.